How will you separate uranium-235 from natural uranium? This question can also be asked as give an account of various methods used for separation of isotopes or what are the various methods used to separate isotopes? Describe any two in detail. Uranium is found in the nature. It exists in two isotopic forms which are uranium-235 and uranium-238. The proportion of the two is 0.72% and 99.28% respectively. They can be separated by two methods. One gas diffusion method and second is chemical exchange method. So gas diffusion method. As the name suggests, it is applicable only for gases. But uranium is in solid form. In this case, uranium is allowed to react with the another element and the compound formed must be a volatile compound. For example, when uranium is allowed to react with fluorine atoms, they form uranium hexafluoride, which is volatile. The method can now be applied. Now we have uranium-235 hexafluoride and uranium-238 hexafluoride. After the separation of two isotopes, each isotope is defluorinated to obtain free uranium. So the principle of the method is, the method is based on Graham's law of diffusion. Graham's law of diffusion states that rate of diffusion of any gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density. That is, R is proportional to 1 by square root of D, where R is rate of diffusion and D is density. But density D is given by mass per unit volume. For constant volume, we can say R is proportional to 1 by square root of mass or R is proportional to 1 by square root of molecular weight. It means light isotopes will be diffused more than the heavy isotopes. Working The natural uranium is allowed to combine with fluorine and form uranium hexafluoride. The mixture of two uranium hexafluoride is allowed to pass through number of diffusion boxes which contain porous porcelain pipes. These number of boxes are arranged one after the another on the common principle axis. With the help of pump, we pass the mixture through the box number one. Here, the diffusion of two isotopes takes place. As uranium-235 hexafluoride is lighter than uranium-238 hexafluoride, so it will be diffused more. The diffusate is allowed to pass through box number two with the help of pump. An undiffused part is sent back to box number one. The process is continued after passing through 4000 boxes. The diffusate will be 99.9% .9 pure uranium-235 hexafluoride. The big problem in the method is the arrangement of 4000 boxes. Cascade solved the above problem by cycling and recycling through just only 3 boxes and the method is known as Cascade method of diffusion of gases. The method is used for the separation of isotopes of neon, nitrogen, oxygen, etc. Second, chemical exchange method. The chemical exchange method is based on the fact that though the different isotope of the same element undergo the same chemical reaction, the rate of these reactions are different for different isotopes as there is difference in their activation energies. Another important observation is that one isotope of an element in a particular compound will be exchanged with another isotope of the same element in the another compound. Consider the exchange of nitrogen-14 and nitrogen-15. If gaseous ammonia containing nitrogen-15 is made to flow in the counter current through a solution of ammonium hydroxide of nitrogen-14 which trickles down the column packed with glass helicals as the catalyst, the following exchange is observed. So ammonia with nitrogen-15 in the gaseous form combines with ammonium hydroxide with nitrogen 14 in aqueous producing ammonia of nitrogen 14 in gaseous form and ammonium hydroxide of nitrogen 15 in aqueous form. The equilibrium constant for the exchange reaction is 1.033 
at 25 degrees Celsius. Thus, the rate of exchange from left to right is somewhat greater than the right to left. Thus, the heavier isotopes tend to concentrate in the solution at the bottom and lighter in the gas state on the top. Similarly, stable isotope of carbon-12 and carbon-13 can be separated by the chemical exchange. Here, hydrogen cyanide containing carbon-12 in gaseous form combines with cyanide ions of carbon-13 in aqueous medium producing hydrogen cyanide of carbon-13 in gaseous state and cyanide ions containing carbon-12 in aqueous solution. The equilibrium constant is 1.026 at 25 degrees Celsius. If you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And now you can also have lecture notes from chepecmedia.co.nf